do another walk today um, from the same hotel in Los Gigantes. Uh, I'm going down the coast to a place called uh, uh, Playa del Arena. Um, I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take, um, but I'm also trialling out the, the Max uh, lens mod on the GoPro, so it'll be interesting to see how much wider the views are on the, uh, uh, the scenic shots. So I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, again we'll leave the hotel and we're going to turn right up to a place called Tipsy Terrace, to leave it on it, and then we're going to take a right from there and head down towards the, the coastal path. The section where you walk out of town, follow the road round to the right. <laughs> where the, uh, the bar called Tipsy Terrace is. I'm just going to turn it right just where this yellow umbrella is. Pathway comes back onto the road, and we're going to follow the uh, Santiago Puerto Santiago sign. See where we've left there, that's the chewy blue hotel where we're staying. We're going to follow this road down here. What you need to look out for at this next section is the, the, the turn left because otherwise you just basically walk around these houses here. So I'm just going to get across here, take this left. I'm going to make our way towards the uh, Santiago Hotel. So again, stay left, even though you know it's uh, a no entry sign, it is actually the walkway to the hotel. So I'm just going to get across to the other side. So, just coming up to this uh, staircase, little viewpoint here. With what looks like a pretty unsafe glass sc <laughs> screen. So heading, once we go up onto the top here, we're going to make our way down there underneath the uh, Santiago Hotel. Excuse me, thank you. Following the Puerto the Santiago signs, I'm just going to take a shot right here. And uh, you'll see where these people are coming up, this ramp here, the steps and ramps that take us down onto the uh, the walkway that takes us down to the hotel. Oh, right. There's a choice of a ramp or steps. So it's just a zigzag path now down to uh, down to the promenade. Walkway again now. And there's just a, an interesting little uh, viewpoint here on the right where you can see uh, a little cutaway in the rock, a little porthole 
obviously a, a photo s spot. The other day, when we were walking along here, the waves were actually coming over that uh, rock promontory over there. Rock karma today. So, back on the path, heading down to the Santiago Hotel. Mm -hmm. So this is the corner of uh, the Santiago Hotel, which you can see on my left. So I'll just have a little look over the uh, handrail. It's quite a good view back towards the Blue Hotel. And then the, you can see the natural uh, swimming pool there people sort of sitting around it and playing in it. The uh, word in the hotel is that, you know, in the last three weeks, three people have been washed away and killed. And people were still getting in it when the waves were coming way over the top. So if you can imagine that they, the waves were going over that rock to the right, they're going to go way over. There you go, look at that one now. It's just going straight in. And apparently young kids have been washed out, lost. You've got a good view of the Gigantes themselves. Carry on around the corner. We're going to keep heading down this way. Santiago Hotel and its coastline. We're just continuing to head down, bypassing this signpost, which would obviously take you back to the Gigantes on the high road up at the top there. But we're just heading down towards the Puerto de Santiago and then continuing over those headlands over there, heading towards Playa de la Reina. So as we go around this next corner, we're going to pick up the, uh, the Puerto Santiago. The port here, which is on the right hand side, this is like a balustraded walkway up into the village of Santiago itself so that's probably the steepest bit we've come to so far and as you can see it's not too bad but one that you really just want to take your time on if you weren't too sure on your feet people down on the beach today when we came past a couple of days back this was all roped off by the police because the waves were coming in at you know six or eight foot high and the beach was closed but it's uh, back open again now So as you can see, it's fairly steep, but it's, it's okay, it's only a short path. Obviously, just be careful, very narrow at the top of traffic coming around. We've walked up to the top of the path now and coming into what is uh, the village of Santiago. A bit of building work going on. Viv and I had a a beer in the Red Top Cafe down there on the plaza. What we're going to do today is just carry on walking down the promenade and head over those next two headlands uh, on our way to uh, Playa de la Arena. The uh, promenade that's adjacent to the sea, which is to our right. It's, uh, it's quite nice. Is it a bit more residential than where we've been so far? Yeah. <coughs> it's 
uh, it's a nice walk. Make our way here. Uh, nice steady pace. The pathway now into what is in effect Playa de la Arena. I haven't seen this place before, so it's new for me as well. Another black beach by the looks of it. They are generally around here, unless they're man made. Let's make it out over there. So, it's heading down onto the level. So I'm just checking my watch now and it's taken me 34 minutes to get here. Walking at a reasonable place at, you know, steady, sort of steady awake. Um, so very doable from Los Gigantes itself. I'm going to just do a panorama, panorama of the, uh, the beach line and then I'll switch off. And uh, have a well deserved beer, I think, to show you the beach. As I said, it's very volcanic. But usable. Okay, I'm going to sign off for now, and I'll get this posted in a couple of days.